Hello and welcome to a Claes Hunter 1 tutorial. This is my website codefreaks.co.uk. On Codefreaks you can post questions or answers about any of your coding problems. That's web or desktop and includes Blender. If you have any hardware or software problems you can also post them too and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. That's codefreaks.co.uk. Let's open Blender. Okay. Today what we're going to do is make a simple soft body cape for a character that you may have created or may want to create. So firstly, let's go into front view by pressing the 1 key. And we're going to delete our default cube by pressing X and pressing Enter to confirm. We're going to insert a plane by pressing the space key. Add mesh plane. And we're going to make it a bit bigger by pressing the S key dragging away and clicking to set. We want a bit more of a cape sort of a shape so if we press the A key to deselect all our vertices and press the B key so we can draw marquee around the top two so they're now selected. Um, if we press the S key now to make them a bit smaller and we've got a bit more of a triangular shape and click to set that. Now we're going to select all the vertices again by pressing the A key once to deselect them and A key again to select them all. We're going to subdivide our cape so when it animates it looks very flowing and smooth. So we're going to press the W key, click subdivide, W again, subdivide again, W, subdivide, and once more W, subdivide. Okay, now our cape is subdivided. We're going to add a new vertex group by going down onto our buttons panel make sure it's in edit mode so we can click new and rename it to cloth for example we've got to set the weight to zero and then we're going to assign that to those vertexes now we have to do something new called weight painting so we're going to go up to this drop down box and click weight paint we're going to come down into the paint toolbox and make sure the weight is one and set this one to one as well. We're also going to make our brush a bit smaller to about nine, nine or ten. And we're going to draw a line right across the top of our cape. Like that. Okay, once we've got our line, we're going to go back to object mode and we're going to go to object mode down here click the physics button and we're going to click soft body where it says use goal we're going to click the little arrows next to it and click cloth that that was the vertex group we created earlier now if we just rotate our cape a little bit so we can see it from a better angle and press alt a you see it sort of bounces at the bottom giving it a material sort of finish to make our cape look a bit better we're going to animate it so if we go right to the top like in the last tutorial and click model and click animation so now we're in top view and if we rotate our cape 45 degrees and drag it into the bottom corner and we'll press zero to make sure our camera can just see it which it can and make sure the green line is on zero seconds and we're going to press I to set the location and I to set the rotation. Now we're going to go to about two seconds and we're going to grab our cape and pull it down to about bottom middle of the camera and press I to set the rotation and I to set the location and we'll go to four and drag it somewhere else for example the top right and we'll press I to set the location and I to set the rotation and once more if we go to 6 we can grab it and we'll just bring it back into the middle and we'll press I for rotation and I 
for location. By putting the air now, up, it makes if we drive the up, green bar cape more like a sail, so it reacts as on if the you're dragging it through and then hover our mouse over the 3D workspace and press Alt A to play our animation. makes the cape a bit more springy, so it gives it more material like As you can movement. see, it's not reacting very much. So if we go back to the top and go back into model mode, we can change a few settings down here. If we put G stiff to zero and arrow to about 1700. And now if we press zero key in model mode and press and zoom out a bit and press Alt A, we should be able to see our capes quite a lot more flowing. But it's still quite jaggedy. So we'll just press escape to stop the animation. And we'll go into edit mode in the buttons panel and press set smooth, which just makes the object look smoother. And I will hover our mouse over 3D workspace again. Press Alt A, and you can see our cape is looking quite nice now. We can also add some colour to it if you wanted by going to the shading tab and click add new. And for example, we could make it a red cape. And Alt A again, just like Superman's cape. There you go. There's a simple soft body tutorial for you. I hope this has helped. Um, we'll be back soon with some more tutorials. Thanks for watching.